Hey everybody, Ben with BRG Music, back with another video on our Viper uh, amps. We're going to do the uh, Viper VIP uh, 2 and the Viper X2 with 7 string guitar today. Tuned uh, standard, if I can get this price tag out of my way. There we go. Uh, anyway, so um, tuned standard. I'm just going to do some riffing. I'm going to go through the different high gain kind of settings on here. Let you know what the amp sounds like. Um, kind of something slow and chunky, uh, eighth notey. I'll start with the uh, British mode. I'm going to work my way all the way around the 6505. Uh, maybe try the uh, Buddha and whatnot too, just to give you an idea what they sound like with the seven string. So here is the VIP2 Butcher amp. I have the delay and reverb turned down on these for now, so you can just do kind of rhythm tones. So. <laughs> mode on the X2. <laughs> Alright, so moving around the dial. We're now at the butcher. And it's going to sound like this, starting on the VIP2. Now the X2. This will be the classic mode. Now the X2, same mode. the triple X starting the VIP two <laughs> This will be the 6534, starting on the VIP2. Now the X2. Same thing on the X2. Alright, 
So now we're at the Buddha. Back to the VIP E2. Not exactly the greatest tone for like low seven string stuff for this, but you know, whatever. So here's the same thing on the X2. twin for the heck of it. Starting with the VIP2. <laughs> The, v, the X2, same thing with the twin. All right, so there you have it. There's the red channel on the guitar amps, uh, starting at the British mode all the way around to the twin. Uh, some of those are going to sound really awesome, um, in my opinion for your heavier tones, like the 6505, 6534, triple X, the British when you jack the gain and play with the EQ is really cool. Um, yeah, anyhow, I, I get a big... <laughs> That's the VIP2, not the X2. sound so big. So the X2 again. Go back to VIP2. I played both of them. I was like, man, this sounds awesome. And this, of course. I got strings bouncing off banjos and everything. So <laughs> anyway, uh, kind of kick it back a bit. And we'll do just another kind of like a, a faster picked riff um, with both amps. This will be the 6505 uh, on the VIP 2. <laughs> I like the the, uh, the definition in the notes on the uh, X2 is a lot clearer. I can hear it seems like I can hear more of the individual low notes, you know. On the on the X2.
completely a difference. A lot of fun to play with the different settings and everything. And uh, it'll handle seven string guitar just fine. Um, it doesn't like woof out or anything. Low, t low tunings are a thing PV has been able to handle for a long time. I had a, an original block letter 5150 years ago and um, I liked it until I went to B. C was fine. C sounded great. Standard uh, D, E flat, whatever, it all sounded awesome. C drop C sounded great. C standard sounded awesome. As soon as I went to B standard, I didn't like the tone anymore and found out that I liked the EL34 tubes better for that and different amp circuit. But the uh, the Viper amps will hold up to the low tuning pretty well. So I wonder real quick. Um, <laughs> With uh, drop A. Um, that's a VIP two on the sixty five apply, and I'll do the X two. Holds up to drop drop A even. Yeah, just fine. So if you've got questions about that, I know it'll do that. I am gonna check out some eight string stuff here eventually, see how it holds up. But there you have some rhythm tones uh, on the red channel on all the amps um, with a seven string guitar tune standard and then some drop A stuff at the end there, just to give you an idea what you're working with with the uh, X2 and the VIP2 uh, Viper amps from PV. Thanks. Later.